was August 2nd, 2006. The first thing I remember was a single shot, followed by silence. Seeing my buddy lying there in a pool of his blood was, was shocking for me. I saw the wound, you know, a lot of emotions were going through my head. One of the strongest emotions was feeling helpless, uh, where I wanted to do more and I couldn't. The biggest driver that inspired me to join the Navy was probably my childhood. I needed to find uh, a way to learn to protect the people that I loved. I was always interested in medicine, um, kind of in the background, didn't become really strong until I actually dealt with real life common medicine in the field. The moment I knew I wanted to go into medicine was during my first deployment to Ramadi, which is when a good one of my best friends was shot. And after doing everything I could for him, securing his airway, controlling his bleeding, I, there wasn't much else I could do for him, but watching the uh, spectacular team of emergency medicine physicians, orthopedic surgeons, and nurses um, saved my friend's life is when I realized that there was a greater calling for me, and that calling was medicine. So I decided after that deployment that uh, I would serve another tour with the uh, SEAL teams, but then I would kind of dedicate my life to medicine for that. I'm currently a resident physician in emergency medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital and Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Uh, making decisions on your feet and with very little data and very little time is something that you have to do in the military. And being able to think on my feet has been helpful in the emergency room where you may not have a lot of time to think, but you have to make a decision um, because your patients depend on it. I think the recent wars have been very successful in bringing a lot of emergency and orthopedic research into the civilian sector. You know, I was very fortunate in medical school to be able to talk a lot about my experiences um, overseas and how my experiences as a medic um, helped save lives. You know, the military for me was the basis of teamwork. And it was amazing to see that in medicine, that that same type of teamwork uh, and allocation of responsibilities it could just turn out a, a well-oiled machine to do good things and save, save a lot of human lives. I love being a doctor. I love taking care of patients. I love seeing patients in the emergency room at their most important hour because I get to see human beings who are coming to you for help and the first hour that they're in the emergency room you have such a potential to leave a large impact in their life. I know now that the biggest contribution I can give is as a physician. Five years from now I will be finished with my emergency medicine residency at Mass General Hospital and Brigham Hospital and I'll be back in the Navy as an emergency medicine doctor. I'm hoping to continue my services as an emergency medicine doctor uh, at whatever base I'm stationed to, but uh, I hope to be able to deploy with a lot of our special forces or our SEAL units overseas and serve in a medical capacity to our men and women who really need medical care and in their time of need. I think now I'm just as driven as I've always been but I take time to, to just enjoy my day and, and it kind of realize that it's not the destination that matters, but the journey to the destination. And I'm, I'm just very fortunate and very, um, very humbled that I have this great opportunity to be in a position where I can help people.